In this Natron tutorial I will show you how to create a very simple space scene. I've aimed this tutorial at complete beginners. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I assume you've got as far as installing Natron into your uh, computer or onto your computer. So what you need to remember with Natron, if you've never used it before, nearly everything you do is in this section here. This is where the nodes are placed. So making sure that the viewer is selected, just left click on it if you're not sure. Then right click in this panel. What you're looking for is next to filter. Come across and look for something called shader toy left click on this and it should automatically connect to the viewer because you've already selected the viewer and what you'll end up with is this which is of no use whatsoever so I'm not even going to bother playing it but if you come over to the right hand side you've got something called image shader and there's a little arrow by the side of it just left click on this Then you've got a section here called Load from Preset and it'll say No Preset. Left click on the little arrow. You've got something called Star Tunnel. Left click on this. I'm going to just drag this view down a bit. Now if you play this, you'll end up with this sort of uh, it sticks and uh, doesn't play back perfectly because it got to prefetch this first of all. She'll end up with this sort of uh, bluey hue in the background. Should play alright now. It, they, they become laggy because it's sort of prefetching the video before it can play it. So that's fine. But it's not the colour I'm looking for. So again, make sure you select this time the shader toy by left clicking on it you can hold your left mouse button down and move it around. Now by selecting a lot of these nodes it means you'll get an automatic connect in the right sort of direction that you need. So once you've selected the shader toy right click again and next to colour sorry next to colour left click on grade and this should put the grade node between the shader node and the viewer node. So once you've done that all you need to do is just very simply if you just want a back black background just reduce the slider next to the black till you get the kind of darkness you want. So I'm going to take this down so it's quite black you can increase the whites on this or you can multiply it but I want this tutorial to be very quick and straightforward so once you're happy with the colour go ahead and play again using this play button here now there are different settings you can use I'm not going to go into this because this is really a very basic beginners tutorial so obviously you get the default frame rate which is 24 frames per second you also get the default length at 250 frames. So once you're happy with the colour, make sure that the grade is selected. You don't want this shader toy selected or this viewer node selected. Make sure the grade one is selected. And then right click in this box and next to image, left click on right. Now you need to decide where you're going to save your video to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And then next to file type you'll see a little button called JPEG or JPG. Left click on this and decide the format you're going to save. I'm going to use AVI. Left click on this. That's all you need to do. Oh, you need to give it a title as well. So I'm going to call this, right now it says Untitled. I'm going to change Untitled to, I don't know, 
stars that do and then left click on save and you should find your right node is connected to your grade mode and all you need to do as I said this is a very quick tutorial so I'm not going to go into anything else there's a button here that says render left click on this and this will happen and then you just have to wait for this to finish rendering or come back to this when it's finished once your video is finished rendering it will say 100% here underneath progress you should have hopefully something that looks like this very basic quite simple so hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers